how to make the bouncing egg. We can see the bouncing egg experiment in YouTube. There's a several of them. Here is the egg. This is a vinegar, and if you mix them together, you have a bouncing egg. After one day, immerse this egg into the uh, white vinegar. Oh, this is a, a rice vinegar, the Chinese version rice vinegar. But anyway, it's vinegar. It's acetic acid inside. That's acid. Enough to dissolve the uh, eggshell and make it a bouncing egg. So here, I'm not showing you how to do the experiment. How do, if you want to know how to do the experiment, you can just go online, uh, YouTube. There's several of the experiments there. But the problem is there's no explanation so far. There's some people trying to explain that, but the explanation either just part of the explanation or uh, the explanation is totally wrong, totally wrong. Let's see how uh, how a, a wrong explanation would be. Here is a typical one. Look at uh, this uh, this lady's face. You know, very very confident. Very typical overconfident people. A typical overconfident people. Look at the face. Look at the face. See how confident it is. And she is over overconfident. She is totally overconfident. She don't have the knowledge, but she is very, very confident. Okay, very, very confident. And this was published by BBC, BBC website. Unbelievable! It's published by BBC website. Unbelievable! Who told them the science? Uh, I think the football coach told them the science. They don't know anything about science, so don't post this on the website. On their website, it's just uh, terrible. It's terrible. It's very, very terrible. So here is her explanation. First, the uh, the acetic acid dissolve the eggshell, dissolve the eggshell, and leave the eggshell membrane. And the eggshell membrane is gonna be the osmosis membrane. It's working like osmosis membrane, and the water. Uh, uh, the salt, the salt solution outside of the membrane and the salt solution inside the membrane, and salt, uh, the water is gonna come in the egg because the concentration of the salt inside of the eggshell is higher than the concentration of the uh, uh, the water solution outside of the of, of the eggshell. So the water come in, so this egg is gonna become the water ball, you know, become the water ball. That's why it's bouncing. Uh, I tell you now, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I have uh, experienced so many people, you know, talking this bullshit with overconfidence, with great confidence. You know, they talk really fast and they throw you these uh, unbelievable words like osmosis. Oh, this that, oh, la, 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 la. sounds like they know something. But actually, they are fucking stupid. Uh, look at the, that face. Remember this face. Remember this face. And she even posted that on BBC. Even posted that on BBC. And acting like an expert. Okay. So, what really happened is when you have the uh, egg immersed in the acetic acid. The acetic acid is a weak acid, but it's strong enough to dissolve the um the eggshell eggshell is made of calcium carbonate okay and it will dissolve the eggshell the first step the explanation uh she did it right and many people on the website did it uh not many uh just uh some of them did it right it's simple it's really simple uh calcium carbonate oh acting with the acid of course everybody know if you go through the high school you will know acid dissolves the carbonate Right, acid did one and release the car, uh, carbon dioxide. Yeah, 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 of course. And then you have the calcium acid, right? Calcium acid is in the water solution. In the water solution, how many concentration is gonna be? The acetic acid is five percent. The calcium uh, acid, I would think, it's not five percent, but uh, depends on how many. 
uh, acetic acid you have, uh, how big the egg is, it's gonna be like two percent, three percent, three percent of the of the water solution. But uh, what's the concentration of the salt co salt co uh, concentration in the eggshell? That's zero point nine percent. I tell you, that's zero point nine percent. It's in all animal. It's in all human body. Uh, for the human uh, water fluid, that's uh, zero point nine percent of salt solution. And for the sea water, zero point nine percent of the uh, sea uh, water solution. You have to be consistent with the sea water because we used to be fish. We are evolved from fish. We are all fish before. The egg wasn't there, the egg was fish, the chicken was fish, the human was fish. Uh, we are all fish, we are all coming from the sea. So the body fluid is 0.9% salt water, we coming from the sea, that's the level we have, that's the level we will have, uh, we will always be that. So the outside of the membrane is how much? Yeah, 2-3%. And inside of the membrane, that's 0.9%. So what is should what coming out? Coming out. Okay? Instead of coming in. What should always come out? More or less. So here, why it's become a bouncing egg? Why it's become a bouncing egg if this is not correct? Simple. Precipitation. Calcium. Calcium uh, chitin is a divolume chitin. And if you add a divolume chitin into a soy bean milk, it's gonna, uh, you're gonna make a solid. If you add into milk, you're gonna have like a, a cheese-like solid. Okay, try it. Try to add calcium chitin, calcium chitin into these uh, milk or, you know, well, whichever, whichever uh, suspension solution with uh, protein you're gonna add into that and you will observe the solid forming after you adding the calcium so here is the explanation first you immerse the uh, egg with uh, acetic acid acetic acid dissolves the calcium component and uh, uh, you will have the calcium acetate uh, calcium chitin the calcium chitin is a divalent chitin uh, the divalent cat, uh, catin will uh, precipitate the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the eggshell membrane. And the eggshell membrane is being more solid than ever. So it's become a bouncing egg. That's it.